Hey guys, it's Eric with ScreenPrinters.biz, a website for screen printers. It's a community, so come check it out. Um, and also Breakout.co, a website for people who want screen printing done. So check that out too. Um, I'm going to talk about fibrillation and the importance of a really good underbase for your uh, your prints. A lot of people, um, especially when you first start printing, you don't understand why your prints aren't smooth or why they look kind of bumpy or feel really bumpy and rough um, and a lot of that is cause of a bad underbase. Um, you know you, you put your first color down and that's really the base of all the other colors that are going on top so if your underbase isn't nice it's not smooth um, it's not gonna work well it's not gonna look good and I'm holding this camera right now so I'm gonna try to show you a couple things if I can um, and move the camera around because I don't have a cameraman because I'm just a more of a vlogging style kind of video maker. But anyway, um, as you can see here, I've got a screen set up. I think this is a 110 um, uh, or to 160 mesh. This is my underbase. Now I'm not going to print all the colors on top. I'm just going to show you this screen. The reason I'm using this low mesh is because I'm printing um, white ink. A white ink is a very uh, it's it's a it's a it can be very buttery ink, but it's also a thicker ink compared to let's say black ink or or other colors so it's important to use a lower mesh screen unless you're on an auto press you can get a little bit higher maybe 160 on an auto press but when you're doing this manually you're gonna want to use like a 110 125 mesh screen and the reason for that is so it's easier for you to push ink through the mesh and also so the ink can be really smooth laid down um, again white ink is a thicker ink so um, it makes sense that you'd want a screen with a um, well, with more space to let the ink go through. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you here, and let me put this camera down, is it's 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 important to have a good technique when you're printing uh, your underbase. Um, when you are printing your underbase, it's important to flood and flood well. You know, if if your ink like this ink is pretty thick, um, this is a working shop, and our ink does you know sometimes get left out or whatever, and we try not to let it do that, but it does. So sometimes I'll do a couple floods. Uh, and a, a good slow flood is, is, can be very helpful. Another thing is make sure your off contact is good. Make sure you have about an eighth of an inch from the screen to your t-shirt um, that's on the palette. So I'm gonna push. I talked about pulling and pushing. And I, there's, this is a, not a very large area, but um, there's, this is white ink and I feel like it's easier to push. So I'm gonna push my ink and I'm gonna do a little bit of a slow stroke here. Okay, now I'm not going to do anything else right now. I want to show you something here really quick. Let me see if I can get this camera to give you a good view of this. Okay, as you can see in here, there's ink left in this mesh. You can see ink here, you can see a lot of ink all scattered up in this area. There's a little bit, there's not really any ink left in the mesh over here. Now I don't know if you can tell what I'm talking about, but it's that little white dots that's still left in the screen. To me, this is a sign that the, the, the ink didn't totally go through the mesh and onto my t-shirt. So right now, I'm assuming that where this ink is sitting in my mesh means that there's no ink on my shirt um, or less amount of ink compared to everywhere else. And what that's going to do is cause your shirt to have more of a bumpy feel. So what do I do in this situation? Well, pretty easy fix. I just print again. So I'm going to do it one more time. I don't really need to flood as much this time. And I'm going to do a nice, slow stroke. You know, I'm going to clean this ink up and bring it all through like this. Okay. So now, and I'll show you here, the ink has gone through. There's not really much of any ink left in the mesh. And that means that my underbase is going to be very clean. and smooth. So now I'm going to go ahead and probably flash it and um, print it again to get you know a really smooth top coat on my underbase here as far as this manual printing goes. And you know what, now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you don't do it right and um, you get fibrillation on your print. Um, I'm going to put the camera down again. So Let's say I'm new to screen printing and I'm pulling, okay? Now let's say I haven't really worked up uh, a good uh, motion for my, for my printing now, and I'm gonna do a stroke that's not 
there's not there's not a full amount of pressure all the way through so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up not getting as much ink through the mesh as a matter of fact I'm not even gonna flood okay so say I, I don't know what I'm doing here and I'm pulling and I'm pushing as hard as I think I can and I'm gonna do it one more time because I'm not that good at it yet and I'm gonna bring up my screen okay let me show you the screen first as you can see there's a ton of ink left in this mesh and again my t-shirt doesn't look as clean as let's say this one does as you can see this is a little bit of a brighter print it looks better as opposed to this one that has a lot of space left in the fabric where ink should be so anyway I just wanted to show you that that an under base is very important um, it just takes practice, it takes work, it takes skills that uh, you can develop over time. You just need to keep trying and work on your underbases. Um, don't print a lot. Don't keep printing, printing, printing. You don't want to do that. You want to learn to be able to get a good underbase laid within probably, uh, you know, two strokes is good. Um, three if you have to. And also, there's little tricks you can do. If your ink is really thick, uh, try like a reducer. Um, there, there are some reducers out there that are, you know, like a curable reducer, which will help thin your ink out. Don't add a lot. Don't add a lot because the more you add, uh, the less opaque your white ink's going to be. But you can add a little bit to um, help, you know, soften that sucker up. So anyway, check out ScreenPrinters.biz, um, a community for screen printers, and I'll be on there talking and answering questions and vice versa because I ask a lot of questions all the time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, thanks for watching.